What's up guys, here we are in Premiere and we're gonna be grading some C70. All of them are recorded with the highest setting on the C70, which is the XFABC 422 10-bit at 410 megabits per second. Now, huge difference from the Canon 90D that I used to use with the 8-bit. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys why. So let's go ahead with this first clip over here. Now, this one was shot, again, this was shot in C-Log2, so a very quick, you know, easy way to grade this is to just go ahead and put the Canon Rec. 709 LUT, which I have saved over here. We're going to come over. Here it is, Rec. 709, and just putting that in, that just looks, you know, amazing. Uh, we can still do some more work on it, especially with this window. It does seem to be uh, a little extra bright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Open up here our Lumetri scopes. Here we go. Okay, let's open that up. So yeah, we can see the window right over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask. So I'm gonna go here to Lumetri color, I'm gonna add a new color, and then I'm gonna rename it. And I'm gonna call it Window Correction. Perfect, now I'm gonna click here on the left-hand side. And I'm gonna put a 10%. I'm gonna go to my Effects Control tab, Scroll down and make sure I'm editing on the window correction and not on the Rec. 709. So I'm going to click the pen tool here to make a mask. And then I'm going to cover this window. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now, here I don't have to use the tracking feature since I purposely put him right to the side of the window. So this window is not moving. This is just a static interview shot. Okay, so once we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a feather to ease in whatever modifications we do. And now, let's see what we can do here. We're gonna lower the highlights a bit. Okay, lower the exposure. Here we go, so that's looking a little better. Yeah, not as blown out. We're also filming at a 2.0 aperture. So the background is gonna be considerably blurry. Da -da -da -da. Some contrast, less contrast. Okay, kind of like how that looks. It's too much. How's that? Okay, I like it. I'm gonna, I still see a little bit of brightness here. Let me go ahead and put this to fit. So I'm gonna increase that feather a bit more. Okay, now let's see the before and after. That's a huge difference. Perfect, so that looks pretty awesome. Now I do notice I have a bit of a purple, it's almost like a purple blue hue over here. So I do wanna go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another Lumetri layer. And this one I'm gonna call Purple Fix. Now I do like to name them, that way you can keep track of them on the effects control panel. So here we go, Purple Fix. So on this one, I'm gonna go back and put it to 10% so I can go a little bit outside the frame. I'm gonna select my pen tool and I'm gonna mask now the opposite. So I'm gonna come here, mask here. Perfect, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go on the hue and I'm gonna click the back wall, see if I can make that a little more blue to get that nice blue and orange contrast between the wall and his skin. Okay, it's too green. No, blue's this way. Okay, so that's a little more blue, kind of like that. Let's go ahead and feather it in. And now I do want to increase the saturation of that again, so I'm gonna come here to where it says hue versus saturation. Click and let's make that a pop a little more. There we go, cool. Okay, again, this is not a perfect color grading, I'm not a expert colorist by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think we made this clip look considerably better from the original. Notice how when I was filming, I was exposing for the window, make sure it wasn't blown out, and this looked a little dark, but with information on the 10-bit file, we can go ahead and rescue all that while still keeping the window from getting blown out, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to our next clip. I actually filmed this in Montana. 
so if you notice here, we have a big contrast because all this portion here of the grass with the backpack that was in the shadows, and this here was very bright in the sunlight. So again, first thing I like to do is I'm gonna add a lumetri color and it's just to put my Rec. 709. So I notice how I put it here on the Creative tab and I don't put it up here because that way I can have more flexibility to fix the settings. Uh, if you put the LUT in here, they're kind of baked in. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse. Let's click for the 709 tab. I'm sorry, uh, 709 LUT. Here it is, oops, wrong folder. There we go. Cool, so it's already looking a lot better, but like you see this is kind of blown out right here towards the sky. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Now we're gonna create a mask, add a lumetri color, and this is gonna be sky correction. So again, I'm not gonna go too much in depth here, but I essentially wanna bring all this brightness down. So let's go ahead and create a mask. We're gonna go into our effects panel sky correction we're going to click on the tool now hmm, how are we going to go about this okay so let me try here put it at 10 percent here here hmm here 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 and here i'm going to curve this a little bit Okay, so now let's increase the mask. Again, this is a static shot, so there's no need to do tracking. We'll be doing that one on the last, on the last correction. And then let me curve this a little more to get it more in the tree. Okay. So, too dark. Maybe some highlights, lower the highlights a bit. Okay, it's not half bad. Mm. And you kind of have to like mess around with it, see what you like, see what you don't like. But I think I, I like that already. I see the before and after. So that's looking a lot better than the other one. So that's awesome, cool.